This new Chinese AI is completely insane. This is the deep seek moment part two. This new AI is called Manus and it blows everything out of the water. In fact, I spent hours and hours this weekend just playing around with it. That's how big it is. I truly believe something like this will make you rich. Things that used to take days or weeks to get done or cost hundreds or thousands of dollars to get done are now taking minutes or costing you close to zero. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of use cases with Manus and I'm gonna kind of go beyond the standard use cases that they gave you because I wanna actually show you how this can apply to actually making more money. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at my screen. Okay, so we're on the main mana site right now, and you can see it can do really interesting things for you. It can analyze stocks for you, it, and it can then make a website for you as well, or you can help have it help you plan a trip. And the cool thing is it functions like ChatGPT's operator, but I would say it functions a lot more like an A player employee. Sure, you can do a lot of these things. You can use for education as well, right? This can, this can help you explore the universe and everything, but I'm in business. And so ultimately for me, I care about how is it gonna help me drive more revenue at the end of the day. I can just show you a couple things that I'm doing with it right now so let, let's take a look so let's say i'm trying to analyze stocks so imagine now you have an infinitely patient investment analyst that's sitting inside of your pocket they're gonna have an app that's coming out soon i just said here i want you to deeply analyze the top agency holding company stocks such as wpp and omnicom who else is missing okay so it starts doing this analysis for me it starts taking a look at different data sources as well stock profiles sec filings and it's it's, it's just doing all these searches over here right and then it's looking at statista as well for stats so then what it says is hey i've actually identified six over here that are kind of the major players. These are the big six agency holding companies and important recent development. Omnicom recently acquired Interpublic Group. So number two acquired number four and uh, surpassing WPP. Okay, that's interesting as well. And then it says, okay, I've gotten this information over here. I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to continue to do more analysis. More analysis needs to happen. And so then it gives me a five-year performance summary over here. So you can see Publis List is the leading performer. Impressive, 250% five-year return. Then you see WPP hasn't done as well. And then Havaz is significantly underperforming. And so I'm like, okay, interesting. But it also gives me these files to work off of too. So you can see here's an executive summary over here. Here are the major players. Here's the volatility. Here's the max draw down the five-year return, volatility, risk assessment, business model analysis. Look, they have so many people in an AI-driven world. Pretty legit analysis over here, okay? So that's performance analysis, future growth prospects over here. And I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but I, and you can see, okay, you gave me a summary over here. And then I'm like, hey, where do you see the agency business model of M&A going in the next five, 10 years, taking AI into consideration, these numbers into consideration? So then it gives me some projections, AI capability acquisitions, data science and talent acquisition, smaller, more strategic deals. That's cool. And so on one end, I'm looking at this as where's my industry going to go? And also how are these players performing right now? Or if you're looking at this from a stock analysis standpoint, this can help you too. And so this to me is invaluable because now I don't have to worry about annoying anybody um, by calling them or anything like that. I have an infinitely patient machine that's working with me 24 seven to do this type of work. Now, look, if you stay till the end, I'll, I'll tell you how you can get access to this, but this is just a very beginning right now i'm going to continue to work off this and i'm going to apply it to seo and so let me just show you something real quick before if i told someone on my team to come up with high intent keywords that we should target that are long tail keywords five to seven keywords each you can see and so i said hey look i just want you to handle programmatic seo for singlegrain.com which is my site based on this prompt give me 50 keywords you target before we proceed and i just cut and pasted something from another prompt and you can see it working 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 Okay, it keeps working. Then it gives me an output over here. Okay, here's what we should go after. And not only that, it shows me the keywords by intent and funnel stage as well. That's super valuable because this would take days or weeks for my team to put together and a lot of man hours to do. And now it just pops out instantly. I said, okay, take it one step further. I actually want you to take these keywords and make blog posts from them. Okay, now we need to, just, we need to design these into, for the single grain blog, I want you to take a look at the single grain blog and, and get a sense for what our, what our writer guidelines look like, okay? And this would take weeks to onboard someone to do this. And this machine is doing it instantly. And you can see here, okay, here's the blog analysis over here. Okay, here's how your tone is. Here's how you typically structure your posts, all this type of stuff. And then here's a blog post template over here as well that you can use. And we can use this for documentation. Here's a sample blog post, which looks really great. This is 2,100 words over here. I checked when I ran into an AI content detector, it said it's mostly human. We would just make sure that all our human editors are just editing these posts now. And that's it. And now I can pop out 50 of these if I want, 100 of these if I want, and make sure these are just very high quality. It, it really just comes down to how quickly can our human editors handle this and go from there. And then I was like, oh, by the way, I forgot to include Carrot, which is my ABM software that I have. 
my and i'm like okay can you increase can you include this over here and it starts writing new blog posts the other really important thing here is that what i've seen from other llms is that once the context window runs out which is when, when you max out and, and type too much text into one window it basically breaks in this scenario you can see okay it asked me to start a new session but i can make a new session over here i can copy the link and i can just dump that link into another session and it understands all the context and it keeps going that's insane Right. And, you know, I, I know a lot of other people like talking about cursor. They like talking about, you know, windsurf and all these AI coding editors. And I'm not technical at the end of the day. I've also taken a look at different content strategies for different websites. So clutch.co, they, they get 1.2 million visitors a month for very high intent agency type keywords, which is what my business cares about because we're an ad agency. So I'm like, hey, why don't you just figure out what their strategy is? Look, it's working, working, working. And it gives me a breakdown of what their strategy looks like. You can see how their content is trending over time right? Um, content strategy recommendations over here. Again, this would take weeks for my team to put together and thousands of dollars if you're paying for this, but it's, it's being done very quickly now. So I, I think a lot of this stuff gets 80% of the way there. And then you can have a human in a loop come in and, and finish things off, right? LinkedIn ads are great, but let me give you the bad news first. The bad news is that you can't personalize the ads and you can't scale out the ads as quickly. The good news is if you're in a B2B space, you're doing account-based marketing, we have a solution for you called Carrot. That's K-A-R-R-O-T. And the good news is that you can create a lot of these campaigns with the click of a button. You can personalize the ads and there's a whole host of new things that are coming. If you want to get on the wait list, just go to Carrot.ai. Again, it's Carrot.ai and we'll see you on the other side. The point of me showing you all this at the end of the day is this is, I do believe this is another deep seek moment and this is getting other American companies to wake up. And I do like it that Chinese companies like deep seek or Manus, for example, they're forcing American companies to also step up and just really around the world, other AI companies to step up. And if I'm able to do work like this, I'm going to be playing around with this a lot more, but this is just the very beginning right now. And the way you want to get access to Manus is you should request an invite. It's invite only right now. And I'm sure they have a very big wait list because everyone's talking about it. The secret, the hack here is you just DM their founder because he's very responsive right now. I'm sure he's going to just get busier and busier over time, but also tell him like, what is it? What do you bring to the table exactly? Right. And that's what I, I told him. I said, here's what I bring to the table. I'm going to be talking about this quite a bit. And if, if, if it's really good and um, he's gracious enough to give me access. And what I'm going to try to do too, is I'm going to try to see if I can get some codes available for people. Uh, but I do believe that you jump in on this right now, you're going to be ahead of the curve. So hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to check out this next video over here on AI implications as it relates to marketing. And we'll see you in that video because marketing is changing quite a bit as well.